Welcome here to the, the banks of the River Teeth. We're very honoured to have Joe Stevenson fishing with us today and officially opening the river. There was a very special buzz about Calendar this morning while the parade was happening. To be here and be a part of that, it was very heartwarming. And to hear all the positive comments from the, the people from Calendar about the work that Stirling Council are doing to not just promote salmon fishing, promote salmon conservation, engage the use, but also promote the local area and the local economy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are incredibly proud here in Stirling Council of the fisheries and the fisheries team. You'll know better than I do the condition of the river is always in superb condition. And the conservation that work goes on here in the calendar area is second to none in the entire country. And for that, we've really got to thank Scott and his team. Scott. Uh, we've got a quick full of Deanston's best and Joe's now going to go and bless the river. I declare the fisheries season open. Good luck everybody. Whey! Whey! Going through the day, we've got a series of events which are going to be happening inside the, the marquee. We've got fly time which has commenced at quarter past ten. We've got a special guest, Joe, who's got to be tying some flies as well at about half past eleven. So make sure you head into the marquee, get a dram, get some shortbread, go and watch James Chalmers from Gale Force doing some casting demonstrations, which he's, uh, he's very good at. So, yep, all anglers are welcome to fish for free thereafter on today, as long as they familiarise themselves with the rules. So it's a free day for everyday in attendance. Enjoy yourself. If you catch a fish and you think it's a springer, make sure you shout and scream, because this man at the front here wants to try and get it on camera. So, yep. Loud, wave the arms, shout, scream, and if you think you've got a springer, great. <laughs> it's been a real honour to come up to the River Teeth today to um, be involved in opening day and I saw some um, quite a few lady anglers out there having a go and the people that live up here are really lucky to have such a thing on their doorstep and uh, we need to get out here and use these rivers and you know to promote the fishing and, and the wonderful nature that we have around here because you know if we don't use these things they won't be here for much longer and I hate to use the, the phrase but use it or lose it if we don't encourage people to get out here and and uh, use what's available people aren't going to bother to look after it and then they'll be gone and the future of our rivers and the future of our fisheries and our fish are going to be the young people and it was really great to see a few young people out today um, enjoying the river. We need to see more of them. Teach them about the conservation, teach them about the enjoyment of getting out on the river and, and, and fishing, to pass that on to the future generations to keep it going on and on and on. And I really, really hope that happens. I would just like to thank our sponsors, Anglin Active, Deanston, Moore, Campbell Shortbread, and also the exhibitors who gave up their time to come along, the likes of Lantra, the training body for environmental sector, the Lachlan and Trossex National Park, the Atlantic Salmon Trust, the Trossex Mobility Team who are here showcasing their all-terrain vehicle, the SANA and the Scottish Ladies Team who gave up their time to make sure that everybody had a good basic knowledge of fishing if they'd never done it before. Also the fly tyres, the local guys who have given up their time to come here today to tie flies to showcase the art which is fly time.
Uh, so with the Young People and, and the Stunning Fisheries Council and people like the Atlantic Salmon Trust, I think I believe that the, the future of the Atlantic Salmon is looking a little bit brighter. Thank you. <laughs>